We've ignored chronic heartburn may lead to serious health conditions. A potential threat, esophageal cancer, one of the deadliest cancers in America. Now, currently, there's a new standard of care for screening and monitoring patients who experience chronic heartburn or acid reflux. It's an innovative technology that's helping physicians make esophageal cancer preventable by finding potentially harmful cells early so that they can be eliminated before they can progress to invasive cancer. Good news. Great news, actually. Mm -hmm. We're on location in Sarasota, Florida to learn more. You want to go for a walk? You come do. On, come on, you do. Come on, come on. <laughs> At 59, Karen Weeks is active and on the go, working full time for a property developer and enjoying life in Southwest Florida with her husband of 14 years. Are you taking me out to lunch? I'll take you out to lunch. Sure. Okay, that'd be awesome. My life in general is pretty busy. I still travel quite a bit uh, for my job. My husband and I have recently taken up archery. We go kayaking and bicycling, and we have a very active dog. These hobbies really do bring a lot of joy to our life. With a family history of colon cancer, her mother passed away in 2006 from the disease. Karen has always been very aware of her health. It's extremely important to have early detection and regular checkups. The lesson that I learned from my mother was that her diagnosis and her outcome could have been changed if she would have had early checkups. And my sisters and I have learned that from her, to go in and be very aware of your body and its symptoms. When she started having digestive issues, specifically acid reflux or heartburn a few years ago, Karen knew something was not right. I was not your typical heartburn patient. I didn't have years worth of heartburn issues. And when my symptoms came up of the bloating and the cramping, and I was diagnosed with acid reflux, I had no idea that the acid reflux could lead to such a more serious issue. Heartburn is one of the most common symptoms of gastroesophageal reflux disease. It occurs when acid from the stomach and other stomach contents can come back up into the esophagus where the esophageal lining is not really tolerant of those substances. It can lead to Barrett's esophagus, which is a precancerous condition in the esophagus. For Karen, that's exactly what happened. In early 2018, she was scheduled for a colonoscopy and told Dr. Corbett, a member of Florida a digestive health specialist about her digestive symptoms, so he decided to also take a look at her esophagus. The initial diagnosis that we received with Karen showed that this was Barrett's esophagus. There was no dysplasia initially, what we would call non-dysplastic Barrett's, which carries with it a prognosis that's relatively good, typically progressing from about a half a percent per year. Dr. Corbett recommended surveillance and retested her in 2019. He was surprised to learn she now had precancerous dysplasia after just one year, something that was detected by using an advanced diagnostic tool. I believe strongly that if we had not been using Watts 3D, that Karen probably would have progressed at some point to esophageal cancer. We would not have intervened as early as we did. If we had not been using Watts 3D, we would have probably advised Karen to either consider a repeat endoscopy, perhaps in three years, maybe five years, or even not at all. She's in a very low risk group from a demographic standpoint. Females with uh, short segment disease typically do not progress. We just were lucky enough to find out through the Watts 3D specimen that she was progressing and that she was at increased risk. I believe that Watts 3D probably saved Karen's life. Watts 3D, a scientific advancement from CDX Diagnostics, helped Dr. Corbett obtain a tissue sample from a much larger surface area of the esophagus. Unlike a standard forceps biopsy, which samples less tissue and can miss important diagnostic information. Watch 3D uses artificial intelligence, a series of powerful thinking computers to look through the unique sample in order to help find these difficult to detect precancerous cells, similar to finding a needle in a haystack. 3D imaging and AI-enabled analysis of the patient's tissue provides the pathologist with more comprehensive diagnostic information than ever before, which leads to greater accuracy in detecting precancerous cells. Since Watts 3D detected display it helped to prevent from it turning into esophageal cancer. Watts 3D truly is a game changer. 
Now we have an additional tremendous tool where we are gaining a great deal of, of ground and being able to both diagnose uh, Barrett's itself as well as dysplasia and be able to intervene in cases like Karen's before cancer occurs. We were then able to offer her the option of radiofrequency ablation, which is a form of endoscopic eradication therapy where we are able to remove the tissue at risk and to minimize or prevent the progression towards esophageal cancer. In fact, the initial treatment removed 75% of her Barrett's tissue. We performed the second treatment and she's been doing extremely well. We're just about ready to do a follow-up in her where I'm fairly confident that her Barrett's will be gone. We utilize the Watts 3D technology in patients in follow-up surveillance even after they have had successful treatment because we feel that there is no better uh, technology to pick up these changes early and allow us to intervene again if we have to. I could have been left with my original diagnosis of Barrett's esophagus when the Watt 3D such a, gave me such a more accurate diagnosis that I was able to have the treatments and avoid the esophageal cancer. The future is, is very positive. My husband and I are definitely looking forward to feeling stronger and feeling better. Don't ignore frequent heartburn. Instead, consult with your physician regarding any early symptoms you may have. Watts 3D is already used routinely across the country to help prevent esophageal cancer and improve patients' lives. Learn more at watts3d.com or our website, thebalancingact.com. Don't go away. We'll be right back.